Nigero, I guess that must be run. Nigero. Probably Nigeru. And so Imperial form, like he's really ordering her to run. Like I could see that. Also, I suppose I should say hi everybody. Renegade67 and or 8 here with some more. Let's play stream Fate's Day Night Blind. Um last time on Fate's Day Blind Fight, we saw the epic Tiger <laughs> Tiger Dojo, which was awesome. I loved it. <clears throat> more of that please I'd love to die dying is fun if I get to see that every time um however after getting brutally murdered by berserker um we now <coughs> since Saber and Ren are with us on the way home this time we actually had a bit of a fighting chance or at least Saber did although a bit of one isn't enough of one in a one-on-one -on -one fight Saber seems to be losing and now we're about to make a choice. Do we run with uh, with Rin, or do we save Saber? <laughs> Are we a life Saber? Eh? I yell with all my might. Hearing that, she faces the enemy she cannot compare to. Uh-huh, yeah, I, I get it. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. Get to the choice. There's no end to Berserker's attacks. Where's the choice? Okay, this took me a little, a little ways back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to the choice. Oh, hey, behind you. Oh, there's the roar. Rawr! I was just saying, uh, I kind of wanted to wait a little bit because, like, you hadn't shown up yet, but... <clears throat> good to see you here. I'm still just trying to get to the part of the choice. They sent me a good ways back. Usually when I load, I thought it loaded me on the screen. For some reason, when I loaded this one, it sent me a good ways back for some reason. First time it sent me this far back on a load. The blow that blah 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 blah. We've seen this already. Get to the goddamn choice. Yeah, I get it. Saber's blood, it's pretty. Oh, here's the scene that gave Inuhanyu a boner. <laughs> dash, dash, dash. That makes me realize how foolish your choice was. You haven't made a choice yet. Let me choose. Berserker stops after defeating Saber. Without paying attention to me or Tosaka, it waits for me its master's orders, blah blah blah. <laughs> Uh huh. The Greece? Heracles? The girl calls herself Ilya and airs her eyes. Where's the choice? Oh my god, they sent me so far back. Don't even need to say who the ones getting killed are. Saber will be killed right here. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna fight that monster in her place? I can't do that. Just approaching that thing without being prepared with that. Uh huh, yeah, I know. Choice! Just give me the goddamn fucking choice. Here we go. Okay. Who? Um. Do I? I've ne Wow. That surprised me. I've never been sent that far back with uh, a load a load point before. Interesting. Anyways, though, I do I run away with Tosaka, Tosucker, or do I save Saber? Am I a life saver? Am I a life saver? <laughs> um. Gee, I should have thought about this between sessions. I didn't really. Because he's here's here's the thing. If I'm doing this based on waifus, well, white-haired girl's best waifu. But there's also like Sakura and Neko and Ayako. I like them a lot too. It's like these are the two worst options. What? <laughs> Didn't just say that. Nope. And after the Tiger Jogo, I think I uh, really like um, Fujimura as well. Oh, Tom's Tom's here too. Great. We got a good. We got a whole party right from the start. That's nice. You got three, that's enough for a D&D &D party. I'm the DM, except I'm the one playing and you guys are watching, so. What would Shiro do? Oh, um, God, I don't know. Shiro, Shiro would stupidly try to save Saber, I'm sure. Um, I feel like if he was gonna run with Tosaka, he should have done it, like, what if I can give, um, like, can I give Saber inspiration? Can I give her, like, you know, emotional power by giving her emotional support? Can she get, like, a, a shonen power-up? I hate that, by the way. When characters get power-ups in, like, anime and stuff. And the, I like it when there's logic and reason to my battles. So when someone gets, like, a power-up because of emotions, <laughs> I, I'm generally not a fan. I, was, I don't know. When it's... When it's a series that's all about emotion, and that's the whole point, like, if it's Gurren Lagann, where the, sort of the whole point is they power their mechs with emotion, that's the idea, then I don't mind as much. But if it's something that has a lot of logic, and then throws an emotional power up in randomly, that's what bugs the shit out of me. 
Okay. <clears throat> I need a Shiro. Oh, that's nice. Going out on the edge of tonight. It's gotta be strong. It's gotta be. I forget the rest of the lyrics. <clears throat> I, I, I know some of them. I need a Shiro. Because, oh gosh, I remember that song from Shrek 2. I think that song existed before Shrek 2, and Shrek 2 was just using the song. Or maybe it was it, it was created for Shrek, I'm not sure, but... Going out at the end of the night... I like that song a lot, actually. I like Shrek 2 a lot. Shrek 1 and Shrek 2, I'm a pretty big fan of. Um, I'm trying to remember, what happened after that? Oh yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of Shrek 3, and then there was also a 4, and... Anyways, um... There's an actual real good parody AMV of I Need a Hero. Also, what do you mean this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh? Yugi's great at, at, at harding of the cards -ing. Anyways, uh, let's actually make a choice. Do we run with Toe Sucker or do we Lifesaver? Um, jeez. What would Shiro do? Shiro would try to save Saber. Shiro would try to save Saber. But let's actually ask for Aromar. Oh, hey, Aromorth, you're here too! Gosh, we got a huge party. Oh. Um, don't look him up until you finish the game if you're going to. Um, Aaron Headbutt? Uh, oh, that's a person? Okay, uh, you guys are confusing me now. All right, just focus on the choice. Uh, focus on the choice. Hi, Aeromorth. What's up? <clears throat> you followed me a little while back. What's up? Okay, okay. Choice. You gotta make a choice. Okay. <sighs> Run away with Toe Sucker or Save Saver? Uh... I think Shiro, if we're being honest, I think Shiro would try to save Saber. Do I think that that's what I would do? I think I would have ran with Toe Sucker, but I would have done it much sooner. Like, if I was going to run with Toe Sucker, I would have done it, like, a while ago. Like, as soon as the fight started, I would have bolted with her immediately. The fact that Saber's already pre pretty busted up at this point makes me think it's an effort in futility if I try to run. Um... Because, like, uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, like, I feel like the Berserker could just catch me, and it would be over anyways. And, like, the only way I could maybe get away is if Rin sacrificed herself to try to help me get away. Which, based on the fact that she secretly has the hots for me, even though she herself maybe doesn't realize it, she may do. And also because, you know what? Okay, there's two minds to this. Rin secretly has the hots for me, I think. And... And I feel like she's having a hard time coming to terms with this and may sooner try to kill me than admit that she likes me. And so, if I leave things be with Rin as they are, she may try to kill me. Therefore, it may be advantageous to get her killed. Shiro would never think that, but I would think that. I would think it may be advantageous to get Rin killed if she's just going to try to kill me later anyways because she likes me too much but doesn't want to admit it. And so trying to get her to sacrifice herself in a situation where she's sort of on my side might not be the worst idea if I'm being cynical. Alternatively, we're kind of fucked anyway, so stay near your saber. She can protect us. Maybe she can win. But if she can't... Maybe I could use, like, a command spell to teleport away with saber? God, this is a hard choice. I feel like... I feel like running with Tosaka would only be something I would choose if if Shiro was willing to do what I'm thinking, and that's sacrifice Tosaka, which even if that ends up happening, he would not want that to happen. It would be complete circumstance, and maybe Rin would have to force him into it, and he wouldn't like that. So, I think I'm more similar to his wavelength if we try to save Saber, if I'm being honest, because I'd probably want to save her for a similar reason that he'd want to save her. Or at least closer than the reason that I'd want to run away with Tosaka. So I think I'm going to save Saber. Yeah, I'm going to believe in Saber's heart of the cards. We're believing in Saber. You can do it, Saber, even if you aren't like Fate's Ear Saber. What? <clears throat> I can't abandon someone who needs help. Emi Ashiro has chosen to live like that. And most importantly, I can't leave the girl who fought to protect me. Fair. <laughs> All right, Berserker, she'll regenerate, so bring her down in one blow. <laughs> Saber. Okay, um, so this is a different kind of freak. I've had my internet die on me before. Um, my internet, not die, but like derp. Um, oh, and Zakari's here too! <laughs> you showed up while I was off? <laughs> um, anyways, um, 
Wow. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? Right. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, YouTube audience. Hi, everybody. Uh, so this is a different kind of freak. I've had this happen while I've been recording LPs before. Very rarely. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, okay. Anyways, what was I saying? Right. Uh, I don't know what you guys missed. I'll have to check my Twitch VOD. See, my recording is corrupted now because I had a power outage. So my recording of the first bit of this is no bueno um so i'm gonna have to download the the twitch vod and use that and upload that to youtube um all right uh i what if i uh, was clicking too fast and accidentally clicked the other one this time anyways i save saber <laughs> i i can't abandon someone who needs help Emi Ashiro has chosen to live with that. And Power Edge again? Not yet. Most importantly, I can't leave the girl who fought to protect me. Alright, Berserker. She'll regenerate, so bring her down in one blow. Berserker resumes his action. I think this is basically where I was. I saw her line, she'll regenerate in one blow. I didn't see Berserker resumes his action. I don't think I got to that point. Anyways, Berserker is now resuming his action. Okay, I'm gonna cross my fingers. No, I, I'm gonna revert. I'm gonna use reverse psychology and like cro double cross or trip triple cross. This game has some re religious imagery in it, right? So, religious imagery, you can do crosses for me. Can I get some crossed fingers in chat? Is that a thing? If that's a thing, if that's an emote that exists, I've never seen it. I'd, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be interested to see it. I. <laughs> you. I run with all my strength. There's no way I can do anything against that monster. So the least I can do is push Saber away and save her from Berserker's attack. And die? Did I die? I did it? Why would you push him away? And wait, wait. Okay, hold on. What did you do? What did you do? I, I did you run it? Okay, who did you run it? Oh, you pushed Saber away. I thought for a second you pushed. Um, you were gonna run it, Berserker. That would have been super stupid. I fall. Why? I was gonna push Saber away. Get Saber away from Berserker and think about what to do after that. So why? Oh, well, is there F's? Are we dead? <laughs> Why? Why am I on the ground unable to breathe? <laughs> huh? I hear shocked voices. Shocked voices? Are we dead already? Did we uh, again? Do, is my title correct? Are we not clickbait? <laughs> Do we have another tiger dojo? First is from Saber, who is right in front of me. And Tosaka is astonished at a distance. Oh, there w I thought I heard two voices at once. Okay, so like... What happened? Did she use a spell on me or something or something? For some reason, Ilya, who's looking down at me dumbfounded, is also surprised. Huh? She's surprised too? This isn't all part of her plan? What? My body is missing from the chest down. I think we're about to go to the Tiger Dojo. Are they there? Body is missing from the chest down? Since when? Did you accidentally run into Saber's invisible sword or something? Was it that? Did you run into Saber's invisible sword by accident and cut yourself into pieces? Like, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm on the ground. On the asphalt are a small amount of bodily fluids compared to the wound, soft-looking things, thin broken things like dry branches, and many things like that. Oh, but if Ilya, Ilya didn't do it, does that mean she gets to, you know, be sad for me too? Yes, I'm, I'm slowly starting to save her with my penis. <clears throat> okay. Did you run into her invisible sword? Is that really what happened? Are you that fucking dense? How stupid of me. Uh, RDPV. Uh, I think, um, uh, that's a new name for me as well. Also, I'm not used to that, uh, moat. Jebated. Oh. Oh, oh, as in, I got baited into dying again? In short, I didn't make it in time. 
Yes, it was impossible to push Saber out of the way, so I just shielded her. And my stomach was blown out by that sword. <laughs> her sword? Gah! Jeez, I'm ashamed of myself for failing even in a situation like this. <clears throat> I've been working hard to become a superhero, but I keep making mistakes when it really can't... Okay, so he's, he's, he's dead from, like, the chest down. Like, he shouldn't even be alive, to my understanding. But uh, let's pretend he's alive. I'm ashamed of myself for... I don't even want to play this seriously. Like, if he's dead from the chest down, he's just stupid. <clears throat> if he ran into his sword... I keep making mistakes when it really counts. Nanda. Nanda? Oh, are you sad? Are you sad that, that I'm, that I'm going to die, but it's not you? You wanted to enjoy killing me, so the fact that I died by some stupid thing is pissing you off? The silver-haired girl asks in a daze. After standing there dumbfounded for a while. It's that's enough. This is boring. Oh, no, I don't want to bore you. You're best waifu. Without finishing off Saber, she calls Berserker back. Rin, I'll kill you if I see you again. Aww. Uh, okay, Berserker had a sword. Yeah, but like... It's funnier if he ran into Saber's invisible sword, so I'm going to say that that's what happened. <clears throat> Aw, I feel so bad for white hair. Uh, Elia, that's her name. That's right, Elia. Aw, she wanted to have fun killing me, and I took that away from her. Aw, I'm sorry. I promise I'll get killed properly by you next time. The girl leaves. After watching her leave, my vision cuts out. My consciousness fades away. I really can't recover this time. I was somehow saved when I was killed by Lancer, but that won't happen again. Uh-huh, getting your uh, chest from the bottom down is uh, pretty bad. And also, I don't think she has another MacGuffin, so I think you're pretty dead. But that means more Tiger Dojo! There's probably no magic that can save a person who's lost most of their stomach. Hmm? Is something going on in chat? Um, wise fool? Uh, yeah, if, if RD, RDPV, I don't know what you said, but if you were timed out, then uh, I'm inclined to believe that wise fool had a good reason for it. So, yeah. <clears throat> There's probably no magic that can save a person who has lost most of their stomach. Uh-huh. What were you thinking? Don't you know I can't save you again? I hear an angry voice. <laughs> uh, you know, I was going to have to die eventually in the Grail War, right? Shouldn't you be happy a little bit, maybe? No, Baka. It's probably Tosaka. <laughs> Might as well call you Tosaka at this point. She seems really angry, and I'm sorry. But it can't be helped. It can't be helped. It's not like I can do everything like Tosaka. All I could use was my body. So that's why the only thing I could do was to use my body to shield Saber. My body is a shield. Oh, this isn't nearly as cool as when I do it in Yu-Gi-Oh! Huh? Partner? Huh? Why are we alive? Why are we still going? Where's the Tiger Dojo? I was promised a Tiger Dojo upon death. Huh? This is a story from a winter five years ago. What? Huh? Nandeska? It was a night with a beautiful moon. Okay. Oh, wait, so we're flashbacking and then we die. I wasn't doing anything. Just watching the moon with Kiritsugu. Okay. Oh, we're going to get some Kiritsugu action. That's hot and steamy. Even though it was winter, the weather wasn't cold. 
The corridor was only a little chilly, and it was a good night to enjoy the moon. Okay. Back then, Kiritsugu didn't leave the house much. Not going outside, he would just laze carelessly around the house. I regret it even now, thinking back to it. Why didn't I notice that it was like the actions of an animal that knows it's time of death? Oh! Wait, did Kiritsugu know he was going to die? Hold on. It wasn't doing anything, just watching the moon. Even though it was winter, the weather wasn't cold. The quarter was only a little chilly. It was a good night to enjoy the moon. Didn't leave the house much. Lays carelessly. Why didn't I notice that it was like, okay. Did he get like, why? If he knew it was coming. When I was a child, I wanted to be a superhero. Suddenly, that man, himself a superhero in my child's eyes, said that as if yearning for it. What? What do you mean by wanted? Did you give up? I became angry and asked him. Kiritsugu laughed apologetically and looked up at the sky. Yes. Unfortunately, being a hero is a time limited thing. Ah! It's like being, you know, being a big, you know, big shot in the sports league. You got to do it while you're still healthy or whatever. Otherwise, pfft. it becomes hard to call yourself that when you grow up. I wish I'd found that out earlier. What, because of cynicism? The older you get, the more cynical you get. You can only be a hero while you're still pure and innocent, and you don't know the evils of the world? I suppose there's some truth to that. Although, then you're talking about a maturity type of grow up, not an age type of grow up. Which people mature into that maturity at different rates. And some people never quite mature to that rate. I agree with that. I didn't know why, but I thought it couldn't be wrong because Kiritsugu said so. <laughs> so what are you waiting for, Shiro? You gotta be a hero soon. 